All right, we've got here uh, the leg with the uh, compartment syndrome and we are going to prepare this one for an eserotomy. Uh, first we have here, we've got uh, the leg skin. This is a kind of different one because the real skin has got a zip at the back and this one does not because this is the tryout, uh, which is prepared with some petroleum jelly. Yeah, so it's all, and uh, further we have like a fatty tissue here on the leg. Now this fatty tissue can be just spread out over the leg like that, exactly where you want to make the cuts. You can also just decide how much fatty tissue you want to put on it so it can be less or more it's just depending on what kind of leg you want to have or what kind of person it is or whatever it's quite sticky the fatty tissue if you really need to get a lump off then it's easier to just cut it off like so and then spread it around on another spot so it's pretty flexible and it will just get back to itself as well so it will be sticky further right then we have a blood pouch and the blood pouch is uh, like here and this is already half filled i will fill a little bit further we just put the uh, syringe on it and with the syringe we just fill the blood pouch as much as you like it. Then again, you, when the blood pouch is ready, you can just put it wherever you think that you want to get blood flow. Yeah, so it can be that you want to have it all over the leg or just on the larger part of the leg or just here on the ankle part doesn't really matter so wherever you like it you can just put this pouch there's quite a bit on here oops i'll just get a little bit out we can there's a little opening here at the back so that's it's for the airflow so I make sure that that sits where the air can flow out okay then we are just ready for to the leg skin to put over this so we'll just put that over the whole leg and make sure that there's enough tension now the zip will do that normally but if you would want to try it out with some other pieces of skin then it is also easy to to pin it here and there like I do right now to keep the tension so now all of that fatty tissue is underneath here and so now you can cover up the leg put iodine over it if you want to and prepare it for your cutting all right now we've got the um, scalpel here and so I hope you can see that properly and I'll just make the cut here And there's the blood. So we can just get the blood where you want it and can make another cut as well. See so here you see the fatty tissue underneath it. This is part of the blood patch that is still there, but it's fine. See there's more blood in there. 
All right. So after the whole exercise, you can turn the leg around and do the same thing on the other side. Um, and when you're completely done with everything, you just take off the skin part. The more vaseline or petroleum jelly that you put on the skin, the easier it is to remove it again and to keep the fatty tissue in place. This sort of skin part can be just washed under warm water and can be repaired afterwards, in, as I will show in a different video. Yeah, the leg itself, you can just take off the blood pouch and you can wash the leg under warm water and put all the fatty tissue back in a pot or leave it on the leg whatever you like <laughs>